5 News. Alarming numbers from Texas Health and Human Services. More than 928,000 Texas adults reported using e-cigarettes in 2017. And last year, over 330,000 middle and high school students said they used e-cigarettes too. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Lindsay Lippman. Ann Harder has the evening off. As the vaping trend soars, health concerns gain traction. Now the Army and Air Force Exchange Service is pulling electronic cigarettes and vape products from on post store shelves. Maggie Low Miller talks to a Harker Heights vape shop about the military's move. We're really trying to help people. James Isley has worked at Heights Vapor Station in Harker Heights for the past year. Many of his clients are stationed on Fort Hood, right down the road. Well, probably like half of the people that come in here are military. Concerns about vaping are on the rise and prompting some retailers to pull products from their stores. That includes the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. The military does a lot for us, you know, already. So I feel like, you know, they should at least have the freedom of being able to choose whether they should vape or not. Advocates say vaping can help break cigarette habits. But the CDC says there's some major health concerns. It's not bad. It's a much better alternative than cigarettes. But the Army Public Health Center warned service members last month to avoid these products after vaping was linked to hundreds of cases of lung disease and at least six deaths. The Army and Air Force Exchange Service tells 25 News until the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's work with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and state health departments to collect information on e-cigarette and vape products is complete, the Army and Air Force Exchange Service has removed these products. A lot of people are kind of having like a big scare right now thinking vaping is, you know, actually really bad for them, but uh, we're kind of seeing that, you know, most of the cases are more THC related. As health officials try to pinpoint what's behind the uptick in vaping deaths, Isley says consumers should do their homework. On Fort Hood, Maggie Lowmiller, 25 News. The exchange already pulled flavored vape liquids from their shelves amid concern over the product's appeal to underage customers. No word on if or when vapes could make a return to the store.